three components, pathos, ethos, There's not a lot about me that my students don't know simply because my life is pretty much um, teaching. And then when I'm not here, I spend a lot of time writing. I mean, that's what I do. I'm a creative writer. I spend my free time writing and watching movies. Aww. My art form is the written word. And the inspirational aspect of writing is much different for every person, right? For me, I, I have a lot of friends who are what I would call line writers. So they get a line that comes into their head and they write that line down and then they proceed to write the next line. I would say I'm a conceptual writer in the sense I get an idea or a title pops into my head and I try to extract from that idea either a poem or a story. Uh, it's not as much writing line to line as trying to write towards an idea and what ends up happening almost every time and this is part of the adventure of writing is you have this idea you're writing towards the idea but in the revising process you realize oh this poem needs to be something else and then the poem starts telling you what it wants to be. Lloyd Schwartz was the teacher who really encouraged me to write. He even encouraged me to publish. He helped me into that world, which is something I never would have been able to do on my own because I didn't have the confidence. He was a teacher that made me feel like what I could offer the world was important. I am screaming, born in the US. Like, I, I take dreaming. pride in the stuff that I've done and the stuff that I've accomplished, but it becomes dangerous when you stop moving forward. So the thing you need to be excited about is the thing that you're doing. I really think the value of an English class, uh, the value of the humanities, is to understand the human experience and how I can get the most out of my experience. Art, English classes, English composition, English 151, these classes are so essential to understanding who we are. Uh, the rhetorical thinking skills, the self-reflective skills, the ability to recognize the rhetorical world we live in and how to negotiate and navigate in that rhetorical world. If you don't have that, you're really at a tough spot to succeed in life in so many ways. You come into a place, you sit down, you're asked your opinion and to articulate your opinion, and as you put your opinion together, as you um, articulate yourself, you're crafting it, and somehow you're making something that is just words into something that represents you. The opportunity to just interact with students is what I enjoy. It doesn't matter what class I'm teaching, what really matters is that it's an opportunity for me to be part of the community and for us as the community together to grow and to learn, and to kind of take our lives for a few minutes anyways, bring them together and, and somehow grow as people. I've been so impressed with so many of my students and it really comes down to a belief in community. When I walk into that classroom, I've had so many students who buy into that and it's so fulfilling and it's so nice to see students who are earnest, who are hardworking, who really want to impress not only the teacher, but really impress themselves and see what they're capable of. I just believe in, in, in the potential of the experience of learning and that you know, if everyone's willing to be open-minded, if everyone's willing to grow, the experience in the classroom can really be profound.